For Richmond, Queensboro. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. On December 20, 2013, at the 68th session of the United Nations General Assembly, March 3rd was declared UN World Wildlife Day. This day holds significance as a day that the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora was signed in 1973. UN World Wildlife Day has now become a global annual event dedicated to wildlife. It's a crucial moment to reflect on the importance of preserving our planet's biodiversity. Our province's diverse ecosystems are home to a rich variety of species from grizzly bears to orcas, each playing a vital role in maintaining ecological balance. Through sustainable practices, habitat preservation, and stringent regulations against poaching and illegal wildlife trade, we can ensure the survival of these magnificent animals for years to come. One of the key initiatives is the establishment and management of protected areas. BC boasts an extensive network of parks, marine protected areas, ecological reserves, and con conservancies that provide safe havens for wildlife. These areas not only safeguard critical habitats, but also offer opportunities for the public to experience and appreciate our natural heritage. There's over 1,000 BC provincial parks and protected areas in BC covering more than 14 million hectares of land. These are managed to conserve biodiversity and provide recreational opportunities while minimizing environmental impacts. Our Ministry of Environment and Climate Change Strategy also collaborates with indigenous communities and nonprofit organizations to protect at-risk species. This bolstered with regulations and guidelines to mitigate human wildlife conflicts, like regulations around hunting and fishing, carefully ensure sustainable practices that don't endanger wildlife populations, or that, like the grizzly bear hunt, ban to serve, ban serve to protect and help populations thrive. Encompassing all of this is Clean BC. We've shown leadership, Mr. Speaker, uh, uh, that is world-renowned in addressing broader environmental issues that impact wildlife, initiatives, initiatives to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, protect water quality, and promote sustainable land use. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.